welcome. Today I have a small card share slash project share for you. I think I have one thing that's not card related to show you. Um, I've not been doing a heck of a lot of crafting. I want to say maybe the past six to eight weeks because I've been busy with other stuff. But I did want to go ahead and film this video because a lot of the things that I've been making have to either get mailed out or uh, get moved on for sale and they're just, they're crowding up my space here. <laughs> So I thought I would show you what I've been working on. So um, one of the first things that I have been working on is I've been kind of experimenting with a new, uh, not really a new, but I've been experimenting with some Distress Oxide inks and some backgrounds and stuff. And I came up with some really fun, sort of ethereal looking um, backgrounds here using some Distress Oxide inks and some play on, with colors that don't blend together which I thought came out really cool. And I made these birthday cards and a thank you card. <clears throat> and these are the backgrounds that I made in the stamp set that I, well, one of the stamp sets that I used to make these is the Avery L. Bonjour stamp set with the, uh, the macaroon, uh, cook are they cookies or cakes? I don't know. Um, anyway, <laughs> with the sweet treats here, uh, and I really love these, and they're, it's an image that's kind of trending right now, um, and I used this uh, stamp here, which I thought was really cool, and I just did some white heat embossing, or maybe this is clear. I think this is actually clear heat embossing, uh, because I wanted the white from the back of the card to, to pick up, and I just did some funky little patterns here, and I stamped and colored a bunch of the macaroons and just die cut them and had fun and I built my little images here and again these are the backgrounds that I made and for the floor here um, this is really fun this is fairly new uh, fairly new product in a fairly new company uh, so you may have seen it when I've hauled this uh, it's from the ink blot shop and this is their get grounded stamp set and it has a bunch of different scene building elements that you can use to work with your card but most importantly I mean I have enough cloud and star stuff I wasn't so much worried about that it's these uh, partial ground images here that I really I really coveted so that's why I picked this up and I do have eventually probably not anytime soon not for months and months but um, I do have a video that I've been working on using these different elements to um, to make different scenes with to, uh, that will be um, hopefully helpful in giving you some ideas on how to use this so I used this tile, sort of tiled floor here because I thought it kind of looked like the floor of maybe like a um, like a bakery. You know, you go in and you buy the fancy pastries. I just thought that that would be fun. So I stamped and uh, actually watercolored it and then I just uh, fussy cut the floor out here and then I put it on the base of my cards. I thought these came out really fun. So I have um, this birthday card here. I actually made two of the birthday cards, slightly different colors on here and then I have a thank you card as well and I really like the way that the background came out on this one so eventually I also have a background a uh, background a video coming on how I did these backgrounds too I thought that these were really fun and again here are the products I'm gonna have uh, the products listed for you down below so if you're interested you can um, you can shop down below as far as I know that they're still available this set is long discontinued I think but if I can find it somewhere I'll link it for you down below but it's a really fun one and I like the merci beaucoup uh, sentiment that you get with this as well and of course the take two and call I haven't used this one but take two and call me in the morning that's pretty funny <laughs> okay so that is this one for the next little group of cards uh, I've been unfortunately needing a lot of pet sympathy cards lately you may have seen back on my channel I don't have the cards in front of me to show you uh, that I did earlier last month um, I did a uh, project uh, with the rainbow bridge um, sentiments here and the cat and dog dies from waffle flower unfortunately my need for more pet things uh, has gone beyond that quite devastating. So I've been using this Pet Sympathy set from Stunny Studio. This is a set that is so awesome that I've actually bought it twice. I de-stashed it a while back and almost immediately regretted it, so I had to buy it again when it came on sale a couple months ago. Uh, so I'm quite familiar with this set, and of course I picked up the coordinating dies to go with this. I did um, something a little bit different with these cards though. I cut some clouds from a stitch, the Lawn Fawn stitched cloud dye background, and then I did some stenciling. I don't know if you can see. This is um, 
the Lawn Fawn Cloud stencil in the background, just some really, really light blue. And I think this was a, is this Sunny Studio? Oh my gosh, I don't remember. I mean, it might be Honey Bee Stamps, Sunray Stamp, uh, Stamp, uh, Stencil over that. So, I'm sorry, shadow, I'm making shadows. It's pretty early in the morning, so my light in here is not all that great. Anyway, so I kind of wanted, like, the sun kind of coming from the clouds up above, sort of radiating on this little puppers here. Uh, and it says, dogs leave paw prints on our hearts. And these ones I don't normally, but I stamped on the inside. Uh, sorry for the loss of your fur, baby. So I have this little puppy right here. And I actually, I know you can't really see in the video, but I colored the halo and the wings. I'll but I covered them with some um, Wink of Stella. Or not Wink of Stella, what do I have now? The Spectrum Noir Shimmer Pen is what I'm using right now. So I colored those. So there's this one, and then here's the kitty one. I kind of messed up on the stamping a little bit on this one. I went to double stamp it, and it must have moved it a little bit despite my magnet in my positioner. So um, it doesn't look, I mean, it doesn't look that bad. It, it probably looks like it's intentional. I don't know, what do you think? I thought that the card was cute, so I didn't want to dispose of it. And I have the... Uh, sentiment on the inside as well and then here's just another version with the other kitty and the sentiment I thought these came out really nice really pretty and again this is the pet sympathy from sunny studio fantastic set and now we move on to a couple of fun cards that I've made recently this is using the my favorite things friendship rocks stamp and coordinating die set these young ladies uh, singing different little songs these are great for cards for like, my daughter and uh, young children boys or girls I think that would work fine with this one and this time I pulled in um, I've used this stamp set before but this is my first time using the take the stage scene building elements here so this is kind of what I came up with here I wanted a variety of different colors this was the first one that I did and I'm not particularly proud of it. I like the way that the colors work together. And I did use the, I don't have it in front of me to show you, but I did use the My Favorite Things um, spotlight stencil in the background. You might remember that I tried making my own like freehand spotlight thing a while ago <laughs> on another project. This may have even been last year and it just, it looked like crap. So, <laughs> so I had to get the stencil, you know, the stencils are only six or seven bucks um, and it looks so much better uh, using theirs versus mine. <laughs> but I'm a terrible uh, freehander. Anyway, so this was my first one and it was not, um, like you can see some of my, it, not, you can't see the adhesive, but you can see like the lumps uh, in the background here, the paper where I piled things up in the adhesive. This is not my favorite card. I liked the concept, but I thought that this was too plain. So when I went in to make two more, I decided that it needed a little bit more oomph. So I actually took on the curtain layer here for the stage, I actually inked it with some Distress Oxide inks. I think this is worn lipstick, just to make it a little bit darker than the background. And I did some heat embossing with the silver uh, glitter embossing powder from Hero Arts that we got in a kit like a long time ago. I just love it. It's gorgeous. But I thought that that would be perfect to kind of bring a little a little oomph to this one. And I just did this one again in green. I have to say that the pink is probably my favorite one though. I just I really like the way that the colors, the curtain almost pops out from the, the scene in the background. I really like it. So I have two sending a birthday song your way and a, a today you're in the spotlight. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them yet, but this was a lot of fun. Um, I really like this particular style of stamp. This um, Whoever this artist is for My Favorite Things, I really like their particular style. I think it might be the same artist that did the um, Polynesian Paradise, and I really like that one too. All right, let's move on. Here is another My Favorite Things uh, score for me, and also a relatively new acquisition. You may have seen it in a previous haul from My Favorite Things, the new Best Friend stamp set. This is uh, a four by six stamp set, so the price point is better. And of course, I snagged the coordinating dies. I believe I got this on sale. Um, and I picked this one up specifically to make a card for a friend who got a new puppy. Well, I made her a card and then I kept going. <laughs> so here are the two extras that I made. Her card I already sent and hopefully she's received it. I just had a lot of fun with these ones, and I did the, I'm so happy you have a new best friend sentiment, and I don't, oh, I did stamp the, okay, I'll show you the inside in a second. <laughs> so this one I made with the little girl holding the kitty, so happy you have a new best friend. I did, actually, I might even have it out still, because this is how lazy I am. I haven't pulled out my, um, <laughs> 
my folders of embossing, my big folders of embossing folders to put these away yet. So this one is a Derice embossing folder here, just this fun paisley print that I enjoyed. So I dry embossed the background here. I've got a couple of these fabulous iridescent gems from the ink blot shop and I just propped it up with some phone tape. And in my mind, it was a, a really simple card, but I think that it came out really elegant. I don't know, I really like these cards. And I think what I did next kind of really makes it pop is I stamped some extra images when I was coloring them, but decided to use them in the card. So I stamped an extra kitty and I put the kitty on the inside and congratulations on your new fur ball. Just something a little fun and cute. And then this one is just the dog version. And for the embossing folder on this, this is also a Doris embossing folder and this is the uh, paw print embossing folder. So basically the same thing, only the dog version in a different colorway. We've got some gems and then congratulations and a new furball on the inside. And I don't know, did I stamp? I did not stamp a paw print on this one. And I think that the paw print is here because I think I had to place it to cover a boo-boo. <laughs> so that's why I pulled out the paw print on this one. Adapt, adapt, adapt. <laughs> so yeah, there are uh, quite a few different sentiments in here that you could use for either cats or dogs or some of them like congratulations on your new furball it could be for rabbit you know it could be for anything so this is a really good set I think for uh, any uh, card makers arsenal who makes a lot of cards and has a wide variety of people that they send things to. All right, changing gears again. I used, this is one of my favorite sets and you have seen me use it before. This is the mixed tape set from Concord and Ninth. This is a huge set. This is a six by eight set. I grabbed it uh, because I'm old enough to, <laughs> to have uh, remembered fondly uh, cassette tapes and so is my husband. So I thought it would be fun to make a lot of things for this. And I've used this card so many different times. And I, of course I grabbed the coordinating dies with this one. And the coordinating dies have a U-Rock sentiment that cuts out as well so um, I think in retrospect and I probably have talked about this before I probably would skip investing in the die set because Concord and Ninth is not cheap it's fabulous but it's not cheap I probably would have skipped investing in this die set only because these are simple things that I could have cut with my Cricut these images here like the sentiment and the the music notes and stuff like that and these would have been really easy to fussy cut and there is no uh stamp to cut the tape anyway this is you would line this up to be like the tape coming out of the cassette tape for either a heart or hello there's no die to cut those out anyway so um yeah, I would I would reconsider picking up the dies because I could sir I hate fussy cutting, but even I can fussy cut in the straight line. So um, if you're on a budget and interested in this, uh, you could consider skipping the dies on this one. Anyway, so I came up with just a couple of cards with this one. And I the day that I made these, I was really channeling like the 80s, early 90s, loud neon sort of retro fun colors. And I have in my stash, I have this fantastic neon paper that I think I grabbed at the Dollar Tree like years ago and they've just been sitting around forever so I thought that I would finally use them. So I made a couple of birthday cards using the um uh, uh blah. <laughs> using the cassette tape and then I just stamped a birthday mix on the tape here and I cut the U Rock sentiment and made a couple of different manners. So basically it's just two card two different cards in two different colorways. Oh, and this is really fun too. I had in my stash a bunch of music note confetti left over from a kindred stamps confetti mix. And if I can find that I'll link that down below for you too because it's really cool. So I pulled some of those out to, to embellish my cards with instead of cutting some out of just plain boring paper. No 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 that won't do for these cards. So these ones are really fun and really bright colors. And I think because they're just so bright and so busy, you don't need much more than this on the cards. I have a couple of different uh, style patterns of the paper on here. I have a couple of sentiments and I have the sparkly confetti things here. And then that's it. That's really all that you need. These ones are a lot of fun. Okay, we're getting down towards the bottom of my pile here. This one, uh, possibly a little seasonally late showing it to you now that we're almost into summer, but this is the W Plus 9 Friends for All Seasons Spring. I really loved the pandas. They're absolutely adorable. I love that one of them is holding this little sign here where he can, he or she, uh, you can stamp a little sentiment in there. Just really cute. And of course I have the coordinating dies for this. 
I used my Nuvo, ooh, it's upside down, my Nuvo mousses on this one. So um, basically I stamped, um, well, I obviously stamped and colored the little pandas here and I had this gray cardstock that I was trying to use up. And I thought that it would be a nice mix up to use a light gray instead of a white. And I used a stencil. I think this is a Cartabella stencil. And I used some pink Nouveau Mousse. And I made all these backgrounds. And actually, I'll show you the other cards here as well. And I made one with raindrops. And I made one with butterflies. This one I actually did kind of like an ombre. I only have two colors of the Nouveau Mousse right now. A pink and the uh, turquoise, the aqua here. So I kind of, you know, did like an ombre with that. And I also had in my stash some of this, I don't know if you can see it, but some of this sort of iridescent textured paper here. So I used that to make a matting on my card. And then I just, um, each card is a little bit different because I was having fun. I cut a stitched flower out of that same uh, paper here. And I had, I stamped, I had to stamp this a bunch of times because it's got this kind of like plastic coating on it. I didn't want the ink to smudge. So I stamped the sentiment, a friendship, a friendship like ours never goes out of season multiple times and then really let it dry before I used it. And then this is a tiny little bit of uh, another kind of iridescent cardstock that I had in my stash that I decided to, yeah, decided to use up and I thought it went nice with the flowers. Just propped it up with some foam tape. Super easy. This one kind of the same concept, only different, um, different shape here. I used a stitched oval. I think this is just a, um, a from a basic die set. I stamped on that same paper. Again, stamping it multiple times because I didn't want it to smudge. And this little panda holding the sign that says, I love you, so cute, with the butterflies here in the background. And this one's a little bit different. Um, this is uh, the moose, but using a raindrop stencil, and I forget. It might be another Cartabella stencil here for the raindrops. And I just, I've really been feeling cloud stuff lately, so. I cut with my Lawn Fawn Stitch Cloud Borders, some clouds for up above and below, you know, kind of like the little bear is sitting within the clouds. Um, and then I, ink, I, don't, I don't know if you can tell in the camera or not, but then I inked it with some, uh, what is it called? Hickory Smoke Distress Oxide ink, just to kind of give it a little bit of texture. And the little guy standing here holding an umbrella says, hang in there, I'm right here. That's such a touching sentiment to me. I just, I love it. And then a couple of little gems to uh, to sparkle it up. But this is a really cute set. I know that they have the Friends for All Seasons and Other Seasons as well. I'm gonna keep an eye out for those as well. I love pandas, they're so cute. So the last thing that I have to show you is actually not a card at all. It is a pocket letter uh, that I made for a swap. And I really have to get it in the mail because it's late. It's been kind of mostly done for a while now, uh, but I just hadn't had time to throw together some goodies for the back. And I, I won't go too much into detail about the little goodies that I'm sending in the back here. But um, so I've been working on the front and I've been kind of channeling a real life experience that we had. And I'll tell you about it a little bit with this one. Now the theme of this pocket letter, I'm trying to adjust so that the whole thing fits or most of the whole thing fits in the camera at once. Uh, the theme was fairies, and I struggled for a little bit with um, one of the reasons why I signed up for the challenge is because I knew it would be challenging for me. I struggle a little bit still with kind of um, fairy stuff and, and princess stuff. My daughter, I think I've mentioned this before, had a professional fairy photo shoot not too long ago. Um, and this is being, because my recipient hasn't received this yet, this video is being held back and I don't know when this video is gonna go live. But So you've probably heard me talk about this before. And the scenery that she was set in for the photo shoot, it was, it had this great black and white floor. Uh, like tile floor and it had extremely large bold, bright, big paper flowers all around it as, as decor. It had like a light blue sort of aqua-ish fencing area around it. It had a little tea table. It was not what you would think of, or what some people would think of. It was not like a pastel kind of, it was just very bright. It almost looked like fairy garden meets Alice in Wonderland just kind of smashed together and it was really cool and unfortunately I can't show you 
a photo of that because it was a professional photo shoot and I believe that the photographer, we actually don't even have the pictures yet, um, will own the copyrights on it. So I'm not sure if I can show you any of the behind the scenes photos that I took, but I will ask once I have the finished product, I will ask if I can show it on my YouTube channel, especially if I give her a shout out, which I would be happy to do. Anyway, so that really inspired me with this pocket letter. I wanted bright. I didn't want too much pastel. Um, and I think that the the hardest part with this one, or not, not the hardest, but the part that took the longest with this one, aside from the fact it took me like forever to actually load the pockets, and that's just because I've been busy, um, was to make the background. So each different thing is, each separate pocket here is completely different so and they're all different layers of stenciling and mixed media so I've got a lot of black and white and we've got distress inks we've got paint we've got mousse so um, so each one is different using stencils with a different medium on different papers um, each little pocket here kind of has its own little theme I have a couple obviously these are these aren't paper these are um, fabric flowers here and I even like decorated the flowers. I put, <laughs> I put sequins on the flowers just to give them sparkles. I've got some dark bold gold colors in here and butterflies. And then um, I used some of my favorite fairy images of all time. And that came from the December 2018 Hero of Arts kit which you guys may remember was one of my favorites and I did a ton with this and of course I used the coordinating dies as well. So these are probably my favorite. Um, yeah, I just, I'm really pleased with the way that this turned out. And these flowers here are not really part of the, um, not really part of the theme, but I had them in my stash and I thought that they would be really cute to decorate the little uh, three ring holes here for the binder. So my, my recipient, my partner's name is Tabitha, so she can take those out and then put this in her binder if she wants, and then she can reuse these. That's kind of another thing when I make pocket letters is I try to make everything, well, not everything, but a lot of stuff I try to make it so that my recipient can reuse the pieces. So, um, I did not glue these flowers down they just have a tiny little bit of a glue dot back behind them so my if my recipient wanted to reuse the flowers she could take off the flowers and use them in another project um, some of the stickers I didn't press down super hard so you know she could potentially take things off and repurpose them if she wants to some of these other sparkly things I wanted bold and I wanted sparkle and I think that I achieved that but and then I also decided to do a little bit of fun, and this is one of those things in retrospect I wish I had done it a little bit differently. I made a little shaker here just because I thought it would be fun, and I had these great black and gold uh, confetti mix that I thought would look really fun with the rest of the theme here, and I used my uh, my favorite things square shaker window and packet to do this, is I would have done something with the background of the shaker here. It's just plain white which at the time I thought would look cool, but it looks kind of plain. So I think that's probably, yeah, maybe that's my biggest regret is that I didn't do something with the background of of this here. I just, I thought it would look cool at the time and it just doesn't, but anyway. So that is the fairy themed pocket letter that I have been working on. And that is my card share. And again, products and stuff, link down below. If you have any questions or whatnot, let me know. Um, I am trying to do some crafting here and there when I can. I, um, I've just been, yeah, busy, <laughs> busy with stuff. And I know that you guys understand. And I, I know that I just hope that, uh, y'all are patient and stick with me <laughs> as I'm trying to do other stuff. Uh, right now I do have, um, I have to make a big pile of thank you cards, uh, for my various businesses to slip into uh, packages and I was thinking I might do a live uh, within the next at some point this month in June and just kind of work on a big stack of thank you cards hanging out with you guys so let me know if you'd be interested in hanging out you probably morning mid morning sometime uh, and yeah, I hope that you are well and that you take care thanks so much for watching bye